hello lovely people out there how are you guys doing how's everyone faring during this time in our lives that has become basically our new normal for now <music> Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are keeping safe. Hopefully, uh, you guys have used this time to be creative, reconnect. Um, we're not sure how long this is gonna last, so hopefully you're making the best of it. And I wanna say thank you to all those who are out on the front line risking their lives to save other lives. Um, we pray for you daily in our family, and uh, thank you so much. I mean, there's not an, uh, enough that we can say to thank you um some people are getting raises and for a couple a couple dollar raises for a limited time and i just think that's just that's not even look they can do so much more for you guys but we're thankful and we appreciate you so don't think that you're out here by yourself i know some of you are not okay um uh, but you know keep god with you and we're praying for you just thank you guys so it's april and so much hasn't happened as you guys know over the last month because we've been in our current situation. And I don't say the word because I've uh, been informed that YouTube is flagging videos that use the actual words. Although I also saw another video where they say that they're relaxing it a little bit. Look, I just wanna be the video that gets taken down. So just wanted to come back. I promised you guys I'd give you an April life update. And there's really not a whole lot to update considering the current conditions. Um, can I tell you that I'm back on keto? No, <laughs> because when I tell you, when this firestorm hit, that people were out buying food and tissue and paper towel and water like crazy, we had to get what we could get. And I can guarantee you what we could get was not all keto. So technically to say, uh, my family and I are not eating keto as of yet. Uh, the stores are starting to get a little bit better. So maybe during our next grocery haul, we'll get more keto friendly foods. But uh, we were talking to, uh, what's that doctor's name? Dr. The weird one. Fashi. Yeah. So we were listening to Dr. Fashi yesterday on the radio. I mean, on the TV. And he said that this week and the next are going to be the most worst. The, 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 he said it's going to be a sad time in america so with that being said i am not trying to venture out to get any kind of food anywhere uh we'll make do what we have so keto's on hold right now exercise i could lie to you and say i'm exercising i'm not no i'll take that back i'm not doing as much exercise as i should because we do get out and go to the park and yesterday i walked the entire park which is what about a mile, a mile and a half mm -hmm and walk the entire park um, and I was proud of myself. So we do things like that, but as far as actually sitting here doing aerobics, we uh, have not started that yet. I Hopefully I can start that sometime this week. I'm not gonna promise because, you know, I'm homeschooling my granddaughter and, you know, trying to make sure my husband stays safe, make sure, cause he is one of those front workers. He works for the postal service. So they have to go to work, you know, making sure that the house is always disinfected. Make sure when he comes in, his clothes get straight to hot water in the washing machine. So uh, trying to deal with this and still be creative and make it fun for the family so we're not bored. Um, takes a lot of energy, but that's no excuse not to be able to do 15 to 30 minutes of exercise a day. So like I said, hopefully I can get on that bandwagon. Uh, as far as health updates, I haven't been to the doctor, so I can't tell you any updates. Um, the appointments I had, of course, were canceled. Um, I got new glasses, and I got these glasses. We just came back from vacation from Texas. And, um, oh, that's a no new life update. We signed the contract. Our house, the dirt is there. We went and took a picture. I'll put a picture, insert a picture here. So that's kind of probably on hold because although they said initially that contractors were essential workers, we were still waiting for the permits and then the government offices are shut down or whatever the case may be. So our permits may be on hold. So this is going to take a lot longer than we thought it would. So um, that's a part of my life update. What else happened here? Again, oh, again, the new glasses. You guys like my glasses? 
I love them. I wanted to go for something that was a little bit more flamboyant because I figured, you know, usually I try to switch between contacts and my glasses. And because my sight is not as good as it used to be, um, I'm not going to be wearing the contacts as much. So I wanted some glasses that made a statement. Um, but the ones that I saw, they made a statement. They made like a a thousand dollar statement and that's not kind of the kind of statement i was trying to make so uh these were reasonably priced and um i like how they look i like the purple i like the uh the um no frame here lenses um i've had no frames before but i like how i like the shape they were a different shape these shapes this shape looks very good i like them so i got new glasses however i had an appointment this week to go and have them redone because so when i went in the doctor said you know because my my diabetes is in remission the doctor the optometrist said that my sight had gotten better although i was a little skeptical i went up went ahead and went with it so she lowered my prescription in my glasses and so the one thing that it does help improve upon when i'm sitting in front of my computer you guys know before i had my glasses on plus a pair of reading glasses on top of it because i couldn't see a thing and i was getting headaches they do help me in front of the computer a lot however that's just about it when i'm trying to watch tv read subtitles at nighttime when i'm trying or even daytime when i'm trying to read the street signs can't see a thing so that's got to get corrected so uh when we are able to get back to normal or whatever our new normal is going to be i will be going back to um, have my glasses redone um, because the, the prescription that the doctor gave me obviously is not correct um either it is or the people who actually do the glasses just didn't do it correctly but either way it's it has to be fixed uh what else so everyone's out of school but my granddaughter we are still homeschooling schooling we home uh we are still homeschooling. We dissected a frog the other day, which she found very exciting. And so she has some uh, exciting projects coming up because we're homeschooled. You know, we, it doesn't stop for us. You know, and other, other parents that are, who have their children at home uh, are finding it, finding themselves homeschooling their children too. And I wish them the best of luck and say, hang on in there. And I want to commend teachers because as parents are seeing with their kids home with them and having to teach them, they see what parents, what teachers have to go through. Um, and teachers are educating anywhere from 15 to 25 people in the classroom at a time. You have your one, two or three children, you know, so I commend ch uh, teachers out there. It's not an easy job. I do commend you. Uh, what else is going on? So you guys know we're still stuck in this little apartment uh, until the house is built. And uh, we don't know when that's going to be now. We thought it was going to be in a couple, well actually a few months, not a couple months. But we're thinking because of this, it's going to be extended. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, I know a lot of people are getting uh, spring fever because it's starting to warm up. And here in North Carolina, we have a couple weeks of spring. We basically have... Uh, a couple weeks of spring then we have a hot summer then we have a couple weeks of fall and then a cold winter so uh it spring is dawning on us and uh even though it started march the 20th uh people were bored in their houses and uh oh let's go let's go back to this pandemic epidemic situation we got going on uh so Shopping has been very interesting for us. As I told you, uh, we're not on keto. Well, I'm not on keto uh, because we found it hard to, um, you know, find the foods in the store that are very actually keto friendly. And that includes meats. You know, people say, well, just eat meats and vegetables. The only thing we probably can eat are the vegetables because no one's getting their fresh vegetables, but everything else just off the shelves. But I just find it funny because we had tissue. But I wanted to go out and get tissue, more tissue and paper towel because I was seeing on television how people were just hoarding and the stores looked empty. And I myself had gone to these stores and they were just empty. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to panic just yet because we have enough to, to, to sustain us for a week or so. But uh, what's going to happen if we can't find what we're looking for? And we were finding that tissue at certain stores, two, two um, I'm sorry, paper towel, two rolls of paper towel 
was $8.99. Then it went to $15.99. I'm like, oh no, Costco has, because we would go to Costco and uh, you guys, the lines through Costco were wrapped around the store, down the street, around the corner. And I'm like, there is no way I'm about to sit in that. But I actually put my big girl panties on and I did it uh, last week. I went at, what was it, 8.30. And, you know, now they're letting the senior citizens in an hour early to get their things before the general public comes in. So, luckily, our Costco normally opens at 10, but they opened at 7 for the elderly people. And so, I got there early because what I, my thinking was, okay, these people know that as soon as the elderly people are out and the store opens to the public at 9, that it's going to be a long line. So, they're probably going to get there two hours early and wait in line. So, I better, you know, try to find a decent place in line. But luckily I went, um, we were backed on the side of the store, uh, but it went fairly quickly. I was only in line for about 20 minutes and um, they opened the store to us at nine o'clock because the elderly people were there from seven to nine and they went ahead and opened the store to the public at nine. So again, I was in, tw in, in line for 20 minutes and then I got to go into the store. I got what I wanted and got out. So um, I don't know if it's gonna be like that now because now even though Costco was doing that, I think they were kind of laxed on how many people they were letting in the store um, or had in the store at one time. Because once you got in the store, the lines were like out to the back of the store, back by the, by the, the, uh, the meat department. So um, from what I understand is that uh, they and Walmart are going to, and other stores are going to put um, more... Uh, stringent you know rules on how many people can be in the store but i can tell you the walmart by where i live they have not started yet because yesterday we drove by to go to the park and the parking lot was so crowded there were no lines people were just walking in in groves and uh so they are not doing it some stores uh here are still open and you're wondering like those are not essential stores like you know the hobby lobbies the uh we have a store here called ollie's it's an outlet store you know those kind of things you know sporting goods and so on you know why do you need a sporting goods store open if there are no sports being played so anyway i digress but um we're doing our part we're staying in the house most of the time um now i might have to venture out next week to go get something to eat but um we're pretty much doing our part and i wish everyone would do their part so we can go ahead and, and um condense this epidemic get rid of it and have it go away so we can all go back to our lives um so again there wasn't a whole much a whole bunch to update you guys with now may maybe a different story i don't know we'll see um i'm going to be bringing you guys more videos hopefully this month hopefully at least two more videos I, i'll i'll commit to two videos that's about it i want to do more but um so I want to know what you guys feel about wig videos uh, on how to on different wig styles different wigs that are available how to install a wig how to make it look as natural as possible and, and so on and I say that because you guys I am the queen of wigs so I thought uh, these young girls have came out here and gave me a run for my money and I'm looking like what 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 and if you guys know me for any length of time you know I've worn wigs for a long time initially I start wearing extensions and weaves because uh, the braids I used to wear braids a lot and they took out you know start pulling my sides and edges but then I got sick um, with my medical conditions and the medications it just completely just took my hair out in most places um, now I have hair it's just that you know it's very thin on the top around the edges you know in the front so you know Wearing wigs is a reality to me. You know, I'm not one of those people who are going to cut my hair bald and walk around like that. Commend those who do. I'm just not that chick. <laughs> I'm not that woman that will do that. So, um, I'm a little bit too vain for that. So, I've been doing wigs for a long time. And I just see these wig videos. And I just thought, you know, I could have been doing this from day one. And still being, being the, the leader in the industry on how to help people with wigs. Um... I'm still a little on the fence with it because I'm still a little vain. Um, so, but I think I'm going to do my first wig vid. Well, I've, I've done one actually. I did one. And that was for Tony V. And if you go back to probably one of my very first videos. And so I think I'm going to pick that back up. Um, I bought this wig. 
and I really, really need you guys' opinion on it. So this is a wig here, and I forget the name of it right now. If I can find the uh, slip on it, I will put it in the description box below or put it here somewhere. But I like it. It looks really good. I like the color. I want it to go lighter in the summer, you know, more blonde maybe. But this particular wig doesn't come in a blonde. You know, not a full blonde, but like blonde on the edges or blonde mixed in, whatever. But they did have one, and you guys know, I've already talked, I always talked about how I do not like Kool-Aid colored hair. However, I found this one that looks nice. It was like a burgundy color. However, when I got it in the mail, it was not the color that it appeared on paper or on the computer. And I'm not one to send hair back because I don't want to get a, a wig that somebody wore and then sent back. That's just disgusting to me. So um, I'll try to make it work or just sit in there somewhere and I'll eventually just get rid of it. Uh, but I got it. So it's, it's guys, it's really burgundy. So I, I'm going to do a video on that. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Um, but it'll come this month sometimes. And I want you guys' opinion on how I will look in that. Um, you guys know I'm 50 something, you know, uh, I'm not a young spring chicken anymore. You know, a lot of these young girls can get away with a lot of stuff that us older women can't, but, um, I'm 50 something, but I'm still fine. I'm still fly, you know, <laughs> but you know, I still want to be age appropriate. Uh, but I want you guys' opinion on that wig. So I'll be doing that video soon. Not sure when, but look for it before the end of the month. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the other videos. I wanted to do a makeup video, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but um, yeah, expect more videos coming soon. Um, because I'm not sure. Well, not just because of this, what's going on, or that we're in transition waiting for our house to be built. It's just that's something I've always wanted to do. And I'll probably be able to do more now since summer's coming and school will be out, you know, because most of my time, uh, Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 3 is on homeschooling. And then Fridays are flex and texting day, uh, testing days. So the weekend is family time or rest time, what little rest I get. So summer's coming and I'm hoping to pick that back up and give you guys some more delicious, 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 honey, delicious content. <laughs> Uh, so that's basically it on my uh, April life update. Hopefully I'll have more information to share with you guys on the May update. Nothing has changed medical wise. Um, I'm feeling good except I'm feeling uh, 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 tired a lot. Um, lately, I haven't had a problem since the last video. Maybe one time have I had a problem with the, the clotting during my period. Um, we, I talked about that in the last video. Um, and I'm starting to think, I told you guys that I also had pica, uh, which means I always craved baking soda. So I, I was doing a little test and I found that the clotting happened, it was worse when I consumed the baking soda. And it was only a certain amount of baking soda. I could do a, a tablespoon of baking soda or two a day. But when I start craving it, it was more than that. So that's what made it, uh, made it, you know, worse. So it's gotten a little better. I am a little tired. So every now and then I find myself having to take some iron, some liquid iron in the morning. But for the most part, I feel okay. Besides my body hurts because I need to get some exercise going on. But besides that, um, everything's fine. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I love to, uh, interact with people who are watching my videos, uh, because you are the ones who make this channel possible. So please subscribe, like, and share. And until the next video, be well. Talk to you soon, folks. Bye-bye.